Hi there, meteorologist Chris Spears in Colorado's Weather Center. And I want to talk to you a little bit about flooding and flash flooding in Colorado. There's a difference between a flood and a flash flood, mainly uh, in the ability to predict it but also the timing of flood. A good example here would be snowpack. When we have a deep snowpack and we're predicting a pretty fast warm up in the spring, we will worry about snow melt and rising rivers. And so the warning can be issued and farmers and people who live or work near rivers can uh, begin to prepare and take action. But a flash flood is different. We can predict the conditions may be right for a flash flood, and that's when you would see a flash flood watch put out for your area. But the actual flash flood itself, they happen with little to no warning, and so uh, the predictability is very low, and therefore the danger is extremely high. In Colorado, since 1864, over 530 lives have been lost in floods, mainly flash floods, uh, and we're in a period of time now where we are extra concerned about flash flooding in the high country, mainly because we have so many forest fire burn scars more than ever before. Some of these scars are massive as we have had some of the largest fires in state history just in the past year. The flash flood threat is very high for up to three years on a burn scar. It doesn't go away after three years, but uh, your highest threat is in that first three year period before vegetation can begin to reestablish itself. And it doesn't take much. A third of an inch of rain in 15 to 30 minutes can trigger a flash flood on a burn scar. The result of the flood is always going to be different, each situation unique. It's the speed of the storm and the intensity of the storm. Those two things combined ultimately determine the flood risk. So uh, stay with CBS4 at all times. We'll always keep you posted when this type of weather threatens our state. I'm meteorologist Chris Spears.